it, it's an awful type of demon, though. Yes. Uh, given that you're seeing, like, instruments where they had the egg in a kill and, like, some sort of, like, jar with blood on it. You're sort of looking around. You think you know that the demon seeds react to organic material being placed on them. Almost like they're germinated with blood. Now he really wants to scream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the horrible life-leeching gargoyle newborn is going to do something bad. It's very sick. It feels so bad. Mm. Diarrhea. You'll just drop <laughs> that <dun -dun. laughs> As a free action, there is a pulse of negative energy that comes out of the creature's eyes. All living creatures within 30 feet of it. Ah, oh, crap. It does not like being no. mobbed like this. So, like that. You need to make a fortitude save DC 18 or have their souls injured. Oh, well, that's balls. <laughs> All right, okay. uh, let's do the rat swarm first. Swarm made it. Okay, the Yunker's rats, the swarm has the same save as, as oh, the, shit. the base uh, rat. No, it's a, it's a familiar, so it, there's a there's a sheet for Junker's rats. Uh, I can look that's, that's what I mean. Uh, I'm looking at it. Uh, plus so five fort save. Plus five? All right, I'm looking at the right thing. You get to whack a temporary hit point. Oh, uh, I can use an ability. Charmed life. Fourteen. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Junker's Rat Swarm takes a negative level. Okay. Charmed Life. Yeah. Single one gains a knife three times per day before attempting a throw. Crap, I already rolled. The DC is 18. You may want to put that at the top of his uh, character sheet because getting rid of negative level sucks. Uh, Mort, you made your fourth save? He did, yes. Crackle? He must. Uh, I rolled and I just forgot. I failed, but I. Yeah, I failed. I forgot about Charmed Life. After all, I'm like, hey, wait a minute, kid. Like, what does is, what is Charmed what? Life add? It, it, I have to do it before I roll. It adds five. So you would have made it. Okay, so you've got a negative level. Um, yeah. Ghost? Ghost? Uh, DC 18. Ghost has a bunch of defenses that aren't this. Okay, Ghost has a negative level. And then uh, Alistair has a negative level. That was the worst series uh, save uh, I've ever that seen. Free action. <laughs> yep, I'm just gonna put that DC 18 uh, at the top of. Um, I already did my sheet. sheet. Hmm. Uh, I already did my sheet. Okay, that was its free action. Under the humanoids who was affected, Grackle, Alistair, and Ghost were, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who do I think is the weakest? The little child? <laughs> the little baby? <laughs> I don't know, he's got that kick-ass mask. He does have a cool mask. He threw up in the inside of the mask. <laughs> 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 sneezed the paintball mask the kind that doesn't have like the full goggle but the dude i've sneezed in a full face like gas mask oh, man you work in a place where you just when you sneeze at work <laughs> it's just sometimes you see that head go like this and he just goes <laughs> you know he's going away for a bit <laughs> I, can't see shit. Fuck, I need i need to get away from goddamn hitty magoo uh Step, 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 step. <laughs> would, would that get your ass kicked for a round? <laughs> <laughs> you help? Uh, I've got such good 
spells that I want to use, but I can't. <laughs> we don't want you to use it. Hey, oh, much? It's like, oh, fuck. Um, Mort knows his job. <laughs> okay. He can make a run for it, though. He can go step, step, and then fly 60. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's making this horrible screeching sound. Oh, my, it's coming this way. Uh, the multiple-headed horror thing is slowly regening. It does not get up. Grackle. Yeah, Grackle's gonna... Running, gonna charge towards the thing. As it's trying to fly and scramble away, uh, you come chasing after it and try to chop it down from behind. It's trying to strike, charge, so uh, same attack, or same bonus. Yep, that that's my life. Missing, it kind of, it kind of swipes with a wing as it was uh, crawling along the ground, uh, distracting you a little bit. Ooh, what's your name? On your second swing, though. Yeah! <laughs> you bury your Eight. katana into the side it twists away before you can slice in further uh 13 damage 13 damage staff for dr 68 it is still not bloodied junker who now finds himself close to well we, I think we got a sneak. Yeah, if you sneak. if you stood here, you would have a flank with Grackle, and you'd be able to sneak, basically along that diagonal. No, we're gonna stand there with Grackle. Okay, you also get a plus two for flank. Perfect. Got he. All right, let's get him. Um, and we're gonna attack two times. Uh, nine, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, and then flank is plus fourteen. Eat him. AC 30. Got yeah, him. It, it seems to be more concerned with Crackle and gets an arrow to the face for its uh, troubles. AC 24. Also a hit. Alright, uh, so the Electricity. Normally demons... Uh, it's immune. Immune, but maybe... Alright, uh, so this, this boy... Uh, has I think five d six sneak attack sneak attack sneak attack uh, no uh, got three d three d six sneak attack as per rogue is that is that correct uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's he's equivalent of a of a six level rogue for sneak attack so three d six yeah okay and he's uh, attacking with a small short bow it's d four plus one d four plus two plus 3d6 and dr10 10. so eight damage and then another three damage okay it is now bloodied hey wouldn't work uh, uh oh and the rats <laughs> screw, screw, you. screw yourself <laughs> screw yourself <laughs> okay the rat <laughs> the screeching rat swarm uh, comes Long running in. And... On the rat swarm, making it move at 25 is a thing. <laughs> it's very satisfying, isn't it? I just think it is like among the most horrific sights you could see because the rats also have a swim speed and a climb speed. You make it 25, it's like, oh, man, where they're, are you going to go, Mike? Jumping where are you going to go? Uh, yeah, they don't do any damage. They're nipping at the thing's uh, um, hardened, hardened feet uh, with its with its towel and there. some of the climbing of it, its uh, its tail and it just swipes away. Uh, Los is going to come in. Ha ha! And he can occupy this square, no problem. Nice flank with Grackle. The the the, uh, the rats don't like the presence of the ghost so they, they all kind of spread around him. Um, leaving him space. And then he will attack what feels like twice mm 
You one ugly son of a bitch! Uh, plus two for AC 20 is a miss. And AC 23 is a hit. 2d4 plus 9 minus 10. 6 damage. Oh, uh, sneak attack. He is a... He's got 1d, 1 die of sneak attack. He does 12 damage. 1 die sneak. I'm slicing at the thing's wing. It has landed at this point. Uh, Mort, they've, they've, they've corked it up, Mort. Um, can I share a space with a medium creature? Nope. Damn. Small creatures, yes. I don't think I can make that. Let's see. 50. Oh, Mort's no, trying to get in it. there for the... Uh, he's trying to be a cork. He doesn't want to just give him a spank from behind. He wants to be in the way. He also sneak attacks. I think that's why. Yeah, he's got sneak attack as well. Uh, if he was behind Grackle, he'd get the sneak. Uh, yeah, well, I do want to be in his way, though. Like, I don't want him to escape. Yeah. Okay. I think it's more important he doesn't get away, so I will. Flying son of a bitch. Go to, I can share a space with... Junker. Yep. Yep. Junker, though. There we go. So you can probably get to that spot... What, how much 60. movement do you have? Sixty. Sixty. That's two. That's two moves for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, boots of striding and springing. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Sixteen. AC thirty-four. Yeah. Uh, you move speed six to thirty. I've got boots of striding and springing on. So yeah. Right. At, was that a 65 move? Or am I drunk? That's a 60 move. Okay, I'm drunk. That's fine. It, it, uh, there is an AOO in there if you do do that. I'll take it. Okay. The demon will try to claw at you. Critical. Confirmed. 100%. AC 21? Nope. Uh, 24 yeah. damage after DR. Yeah, uh, nails nails against your uh, against your breastplate, and then you come over and just swing over Olos's head and crank it in the face with your Tetsubo. Uh, Twenty one damage is significant. Ghost. Well, uh, looks like we got ourselves a. a a dealie going on. What with the flank? <laughs> it's a gigantic diagonal <laughs> flank. <laughs> it's a game of chess here. This yep. is... <laughs> uh, so we're going to try to choose the thing a bunch of times. Uh, the minus one, uh, plus two for flank, minus one for um, having a negative level. Uh, so... Uh, AC 20 is likely a miss. AC 17 is likely a miss. Also a miss. AC 28 is a gotcha. Yep. Is a gotty. Um, all right. So the cold doesn't do damage, if I remember correctly. Correct. Um, and this boyo has how much snick? Um, he has 3d6 sneak as well. Okay. So 4d6 plus... Eight plus one minus ten. Fifteen damage after DR. Isn't your bow getting through its DR? Sorry, uh, the bow is getting through the DR, so not minus ten and plus two more damage. So nice. Sorry, instead of fifteen, it's twenty-seven. <laughs> oh, Tomato. Yeah, uh, an arrow to the back. It screeches. It does not like where you hit it. You, you're like nicked its spinal column. <laughs> It's still going. Um, but its life is quickly draining away. Uh, a stiff wind at this point in time might be able to knock it over. Speaking of stiff wind, hiding behind the barrel 
forth the weird eels in it. He's like, oh, there's something in there. Oh, concentrate, Chaka, concentrate. Hey, you, ugly. This thing has SR, so Chaga's going to have to break said SR. Uh, he's a six-level sorcerer. He does not have any of the... Um, spell penetration. Spell penetration. However, as a class bonus for his first three levels of cleric, he gets a plus three caster level check to overcome SR of Outsiders. That's not bad at all. So... <clears throat> he gets to roll plus nine. He fails. Okay. The thing just shakes its head. Ooh. Ooh. All right, then. Uh, he will... Just kind of... Move into the room... <laughs> holding up his tower shield and uh, facing towards the horrible life-leeching gargoyle. Full plate and tower shield while throwing mind powers around. Oh. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty OP. That's <laughs> stacked. <laughs> Very yep. handy to have around. Uh, at, at a, in a level or two, he'll also have Quicken Channel. He channels negative energy. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking that. Well, you couldn't I don't get the, like anyone. <laughs> you couldn't get the spell and the uh, the channel off in the same room. Okay. Uh, yeah. Chaga just trundles forward. <laughs> the the bridge is wide, but Chaga is not the most dexterous and uh, somewhat wide. Yeah. The the bridge creaks <sighs> under Chaga's weight. Um, I'm familiar with that sort of behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Make shit <laughs> infrastructure. <laughs> Barnabas. <laughs> He's still lying on top of this animal cage, <laughs> thinking about life and the monsters. And... All right. Oh, he's the closest seven. to the slowly regenerating Hydra that no one seems to be paying attention to. <laughs> We're getting close, and oh, I better start moving the house. <laughs> Fuck! Not hey. this round. Yeah, oh, you're still all pins and needles. You can't move. You can't move. The horrible life leeching gargoyle new newborn demon thing with two hit points left. What's it gonna do? It surrenders. Um <laughs> Go ahead. Try. Make make a diplomacy check. We'll consider it. Oh, he makes a really good points. <laughs> I think we should accept the surrender. <laughs> he seems trustworthy. <laughs> I think it's going to uh, defensively cast Enervation to try to kill one of you because I can get more powerful that way. Um, I'm going to do this defensively. The DC is 23. Fail, 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 fail. Pay for your mistakes. 26. It tar no. Enervation is a ranged touch attack, isn't it? It's ranged touch, yes. Yep. So there's a ranged attack roll, so we still get his face beat in for doing this. Yep. Uh, <laughs> he's going to enervate Ghost, because Ghost's arrows suck. Asshole! <laughs> Alright, the ranged touch attack is AC 27, which triggers a AOO. The AOOs go off first in order of uh, Grackle. 26. First. Yeah, Grackle. <laughs> Hurt him. <laughs> Please. Uh, 21 after DR. Okay, you, you basically cut his nose off. Uh, before you can bark the spell, and or as he's barking the spell, I'm pointing towards Ghost, and you drop him. I take my round afterwards and continue chopping as he goes down. <laughs> 63. Uh, let me check it. Um... <laughs> I'm assuming it looks like a Benihana. <laughs> <laughs> its con is pretty beefy. It just falls down. 
the uh, enervation spell dies away, it was clearly going to go after Grackle or Ghost with the horrible necromancy. Um, but there are other AOOs that did happen, so... Yep. Next. Junker didn't get an AOO. Alistair didn't get an AOO. Los gets an AOO. Uh, he hit the creature doing 2d4 plus 9 plus 1d6 sneak minus 10 doing this nine things damage. unconscious at this point right it, it's falling yeah yeah, it's... Uh, yeah between the two of you you slice it open from one end and los pokes it with his sword uh, and the thing yeah. falls down into the carpet of of rat more okay. could have just could have swung at it but he, you saw that it was dying at the end of yeah, he's, he's good uh the hydra wakes up oh fuck and stands up full oh, face <laughs> oh it's all it was dead what the hell What's the reach on this thing? Don't know. Like, when it was threatening, was it threatening me at 5 feet or 10 feet or... It is going to take... I think a bite towards Mort. Okay. One of the heads snaps at Mort. At least that far. Yes. AC 24. I believe that's a miss. I'm double checking. It's got full plate, so it really should be. Yes, it's a miss. Okay. One of the five heads is going to bite at Barnabas. You bastard. <laughs> AC 19 <clears throat> while prone. Uh, well, Paral prone and paralyzed. paralyzed. I would, yes. Yep. Uh, not prone, but yes, paralyzed. Oh, yeah, sorry, paralyzed. that should be two higher. That's 10 damage. <laughs> Okay. Um, and I think the only ones that could meet are, meet are Mort and Barnabas. Uh, one of the heads gets jealous of free meat and basically is going to pull Barnabas closer. It gets a CMB of 19. Well, I'm paralyzed, so that so would have got me you... while I was able bodied. <laughs> All right, so you get just dragged off of the off of the cage next to it. There's okay. two heads snapping at each other, like angry, like they're 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 jealous. I think the images still apply to all this. Oh yeah, I do have images. That's oh, right. Okay, so, so the the first like, one, yeah, got an image. The second one. The, the attempt to drag you closer. Mm -hmm. Got an image. Got an image. All right. Yeah. All right. And then the other two oh, bites are image. on... Uh, Token's too cool. <laughs> Mortimer. Mort, AC 15, AC 22. Uh, no. Okay, the Hydra has got... It's pretty scary. Uh, Grackle. Yeah. We do have archers, though. I'm gonna delay till. Um, oh, let's see the see. <laughs> let's see the the order here. Uh, ghost, you're way down there. I'm gonna delay till Ghost goes. Okay, until after he goes. Yeah. Junker. Okay. Get him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> That thing. <laughs> All right, there is an AOO which it takes. It scoops up some of the mice, but doesn't do any damage to it. So um, it wastes a couple of AOOs, basically. Ten damage. It yeah, boy. Falls back down. Oh, oh, Grackle goes in. <laughs> Uh, Alistair went in the same uh, in the same pip, so he's going to move closer and 
take cover behind the shelf with the bottles. Or on, under the table. Shelf with bottles. Yeah, he's, most of the bottles had already popped because of the flame. He's going to take cover be, behind the shelf. Uh, l now Grackle can go. Yeah, Grackle will go in. Oops. Yeah, Grackle will go in. Um, I think that's 30 feet. Yeah, that's 30 feet. He goes into here, and I'll attack it twice. Okay. Uh, you have a blade that can do things, so... Um... Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you doing with your blade? No, oh, I'm hitting the body. Okay. Okay. Uh, possible critical? Yep. Uh, I think that's a crit. Mm -hmm. It is. Wait. Standard crit. It's just 2d8 plus 34 plus... Uh, it's... Do I multiply the sneak on this or not? No. Nor do you multiply your precision damage from... Uh... Right, my precision is my level. Uh, right. is 12, which is 22, plus 6 is 28. Yeah. Got it. Uh, and then minus 5. Yeah. Okay, 43 damage. That's after DR. These are just attacks, right? Yep. So, and then I'll do another attack. That'll be seven. Oh, of course. <laughs> yep, rolled a two. Let's see. Okay, you're slipping on a gout of blood and angry fire as you stuck your blade into it and pulled it out. Fell into an open mouth. Ah! <laughs> Bohemian ears. Uh, deafened until healed. You're deaf. You're deaf. You just fine. Great. <laughs> great. Great. Boom. <laughs> yeah, you, you fell back and hit your head a little bit, and you're like, oh, and there's like a horrible ringing. You know, I, reading through the Hydra entry, I think its body has been put well beyond its negative con. It's fast healing, not regeneration. Oh, um, yeah. This thing, this thing dies. Um mm -hmm. Spilling its guts everywhere, and and your second attack was, you kind of falling, falling back from it you, as you weren't as you weren't too sure. Uh, things are somewhat quiet now in the room. Cool. Low smork ghost Chaga Barnabas, you could take an action until we break out of combat. Does 19 break the old mass hold person? <laughs> no, the DC is 21. All right. Well, he's still paralyzed. Well, that was good. I'd say we cracked a sweat, but I don't sweat anymore, I don't think. Well, you do have a bit of, um, of like, ectoplasmic goo that could be sweat. Go sweat. Oh, sure. Ghost sweat, if you want. Jagger rolls his eyes. Uh, I think uh, Junker has a uh, long spear. He does. He's going to start poking at part of us with the long spear. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't feel it. Uh, in fact, it just wherever it's touching, it's just kind of like this big patch of where your head to toes pins and needles, where it's even more pins and needles as you're being touched there. <laughs> Oh my, Barnabas, are you alright? <laughs> Chuck it, lightly slapping your cheek. Wake up there, Barnabas. One blink for yes, two blinks for no. I cannot do anything. So only blink for fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Barnabas? So we can't quite hear you. <laughs> Don't chew on your tongue. And Chuck is now opening your mouth and like digging around in your mouth and trying to get your tongue. Oh, the anger right now. <laughs> uh, he ends up clamping your tongue. Oh, it's like a slimy little eel. 
25, I bite his fingers. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> As you grind your teeth against his <laughs> against gauntlet. his gauntlet. Oh, snappy there. Just trying to make sure you didn't swallow your tongue. Fuck off. All right. Oh, all right, set on fucking fire and then paralyzed. No, in fact, I am the only one who sustained any damage during this entire melee. Just shows the lot of you ain't doing your fucking job. What are you doing? What are you saying? I can't understand. You do that to yourself. I was watching. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm deaf. <laughs> low stick damage. What was it from? Oh, uh, the fire. Yeah. Oh, I think I got burned. You got fucking singed. Back off. Oh, it's a burn. It 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 touched me right there. You're already dead. No one cares. <laughs> Let's I mean, we care you that like you're a, dead, just like not sh- anything that happens afterwards. He thinks about it for a moment and gives you just a, a shiny grin with his perfect teeth. Now we need to take care of these demon seeds. He's like running over here like, to like, wipe off any viscera or anything that yeah, might you, you can them. You can see that there is a little bit of gore from the Nabasu demon that hasn't quite touched the pods. Uh, this workbench does not have any apparatus, like precariously hanging above them mm-hmm. it, it, it it does look like they are pulsing slightly but nothing compared to the excited pulses of the other two uh demon seeds okay he will take uh his scarf yep and wipe away the goo okay and uh Examine more closely the the demon seeds, as I believe they refer to. Uh, yeah. Um, Barnabas, these things are from the abyss. Okay. You don't know how they got here. Although now you're starting to think... Were they conjured? Or did something bring them here? And you shudder at the thought of what... Mr. Ormada literally said when they were handing out things during the uh, meeting we had, I did not go to the abyss and back to have you lot of eggheads get my stuff. (laughs) Barnabas is wondering what manner of creature may have created these. And then you shudder at the thought that maybe not create maybe laid yeah it's very curious that there are different things hatching from them and but the eggs all look similar like they're from the same source they look they look similar yeah uh, this one you actually can see now that you've got you're really close to it there are weapons bundled together in the in the center of this egg six uh give me a perception check i am not looking for traps all right plus 19. Twenty-nine. Okay. Do you have any skills of creating weapons or uh, any skill with metalcraft? I do not. Appraise. I do have appraise. Yes. Okay. It's not fantastic, mind you. Twelve. Twenty-five. All right. Uh, in this strange pod. There, there is what looks like a dead closet that has a bunch of, like, a bundle of arrows stuck down its gullet. Like, it's a closet that's been turned into a quiver. Okay. There are 20 arrows that are stuffed into the closet's mouth, which is tipped back open like a can. Uh, and there is a battle axe, a war hammer, and a heavy pick, all made out of abyssal steel that are bundled around the closet. It looks like something something or something like a vine or rope has been roped around the closet like there may have been some purpose. 
to the bundling. Uh, you know, abyssal steel increases the multiplier of a critical, uh, but those right. but those weapons cannot be keened. Okay. Because of the jagged metal that they're made out of. Uh, I just had a gross combo thought, but okay. All right, that was the medium-sized demon seed. The, the small smaller one. one has what looks like a very big animal or demon claw. It's got some etchings along it, um, and it might be a magic item. It is suspended in some sort of yoke, and there are all these weird... Um, what look like frozen or suspended spore pods, like little spore kind of explosions, like little spore flowers all around uh, the, uh, the the talon. Okay. Uh, what could it be? What do you mean? Knowledge, what the fuck is that? Uh, or what's it from, I guess? Um, sure. Okay. What? Planes? Planes. I'll take 20 again. Someone's made a magic item out of a Vrock uh, Talon. That's kind of creepy. All right. And you can see where you kind of like hold it like a handle and then you have the Talon kind of in your hand. It's it's awkward enough that you're that you're uh, you're certain it's not meant to be a weapon. It's more of a device that you hold, rod or something. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh... And it just seems to be suspended in where you'd expect the yolk of an egg to be, but these things are weird enough that they do not have yolks. Okay. If he's comfortable enough that they aren't about to hatch into horrible monsters. Um, it does not look like, they look pretty solid. Like, you could probably transport them. Take them home. <laughs> Alright, let's start assessing values here, lads. Okay, before he gets too close, uh, Ghost is getting a good, long smell of the arcane potency of Mr. I'm going to take the books and teleport away from a jackass. Okay. So I want to understand that smell. All right. So there's some check involved, right? I have no idea. It's it's scent. <laughs> well, let's look at the character. I kind of copy past it the uh, the power. So this is a a power called arcane scent, <laughs> which gives you scent, but only the ability to smell arcane casters. Yep. There's a second part of it. Additionally, while this effect persisted, Magnus made attempt a spellcraft check as a move action to determine the highest level spell and detect a creature is capable of casting. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's figure out how good that guy is at making spells. Okay, so give me your spellcraft check. 24. All right. So he's not a 14th little caster, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> I'll say yes. Why he run away? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give the kid a chance. <laughs> he was capable of casting 4th Circle Arcane Spells. Okay. Uh, what was his name again? Sorry. Uh, Mr. Ormada. Mr. Mr. Ormada. Yes, 4th. Circle Arcane, and I understand his scent, right? Like I recognize the spell. Yep. Again. Yeah. yeah. You see Los? Are you all right? You, you you can't quite hear them grackle. Is that permanent until somebody does a heal check? Yeah, they, somebody has to come give me a heal check. Otherwise, it's permanent. So, yeah. death until. Chaga's kind of your healer, but he doesn't have any ranks in heal. And then, uh, can I do it on myself? Junker uses his. Knowledge or nature to knowledge heal, nature, but he doesn't yeah. have heal. Who healed us? Or knowledge nature. Let's see if Mort's got Oh, no, 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 that's not right. He has plus 12 knowledge nature. Gra yeah, Gra Grackle is grabbing somebody. He's like, 
I could not hear. Wait, why am I sounding like Schwarzenegger? Hold on a sec. <laughs> it's not oh, magnet. Too much time went by. I cannot hear. I cannot hear anything. Damn it! Damn it! It's slipping again. Alistair uh, backs away from you. He doesn't want to be grabbed by you. Okay. Uh, Junker will take a look, I suppose. Uh, you said Junker can use um, nature, knowledge, nature. nature. Yep. Uh, assuming that's a feat or something. But... Uh, it's a vivisectionist thing. Yep. Vivisectionist thing. Okay, cool. Uh, he'll Junker will take a look. He's scolding you into Zumi for being a moron. Um, don't hit yourself in the head with the sword, is what he tells you into Zumi. <laughs> um, Thirty-two. Yeah, you you managed to get him to uh, pop his ears a couple times, and you put a drop in each side, uh, and he's he's fine. You are an excellent healer. Excellent. Thank you. I need my ears. He responds with, you're a moron. And then Nizumi, and then goes back to the... <laughs> Quite honorable, yes. <laughs> uh, I think the looting begins. Yeah, I think Ghost movie. and Junker are starting to grab books. Yep. And stack it's not them, nailed down. Stack them up. Uh, yeah, these... these these guys didn't quite know what they were doing. A lot of the alchemical stuff is broken, but you do find, um, we'll say... Do we have bags of holding and things? Uh, I don't know if this party has bags of holding. Chaga's got mule back cords, and with his strength item, his light load is... No, no, it's not about that. It's about... Um... Professor uh, Strom's library was supposed to be willed to the annex. Right. So if we want the books, we've got to sneak them out. Is that, was that what Barnabas is saying? Yeah, quietly. <laughs> hey. I don't understand. Does anyone have a bag? I have an idea. It's Mort. What's that, Mortimer? Well, we make a bag. And he's pointing at the Hydra. <laughs> Junker will call the rats off of the dining on the Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> They're off in burlap or some shit. <laughs> mm. And take the Hydra with us? You know, because we're cleaning up for the school. <laughs> or uh, perhaps he means just the the head or the stomach. Yeah, we could say we're taking the heads to get stuffed. Trophies. You know, I suppose we could gut it like a fish and just stick the things we want inside and sew it back up. Yeah, like a roast... Pie. I'll carry it. I don't care. <laughs> All right. I, I um, think... I'm certainly not cutting. Yeah. Crackle pulls the <laughs> so... It uh, I'll cut it. <laughs> it's, uh, low, but I can do it. All right. Do any of you have like survival or any sort of craft check to allow you to uh... make a? This is the nastiest. Uh, nasty <laughs> to basically de gut and t hollow out the Hydra so you can stick treasure in it. Mort's more got survival. Mort's got okay. survival. Junker All right. also has survival. Okay. Junker's survival is probably better than Mort's survival. So Mort will assist and he automatically helps. All right. And then Grackle's just cutting where they tell him to cut. Yeah. What is, what is, uh, what is the total survival check we're looking at here? Uh, 13 plus aids. So, so you get okay. uh, an aid from uh, Mort. Does Ghost have uh, Sarah? I don't know. <laughs> nope. Um, Alistair is, is giggling under his helmet and watching with uh, with glee. 
He does not have survival, but he enjoys seeing you guys. Chaga has survival. Uh, I'm listening. Let's be back in a sec. Does Chaga? Yeah. Well, he's got a plus eight. Oh, yeah, because dowsing is a thing. All right, Chaga, Chaga will come over and help. Okay. I suppose if we just think of it like a fish. He aids. So, 23. Yeah, you are able to effectively begin the process of butchering the creature and you take out its innards and um, uh, it's kind of like a big-ass reptile. There's enough guts that you now have like a hole where you could stick where you could stick things. It is a huge creature with a large enough body to hit to fit the strange pods if you wanted to stick them in there. As well as a full No, we're not books. sticking pod no 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 pods are not going inside the creature. <laughs> okay. Uh, why wouldn't we put them you in there? You want to put them to the um... <laughs> uh, No, don't don't put those in, in in the creature. Are they going to grow more hydras and screechy bat demon things? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure what it will hatch. Hatch. It might be the weapons I see inside, or they might come with other things. It requires more research. Identification, proper light. Maybe the books tell us. Stupid. Oh, you're going to read the fucking library, Alice. I ain't read two pages since I met you. <laughs> fucking more likely to burn them than read them. That's a good idea. No, it's not. I heard that. All right. Uh, they bundle the books up and begin stuffing them into the Hydra. Is there anything else that's going into the Hydra's? Well, is there any other magic or treasure or... Yeah, so let me uh, let me write down. This was a lab. Um, yep. The books are probably the most important things here. Let's go to the combat and treasure sheet. Treasure and loot. Uh, to identify. All right, you find a masterwork um, alchemy lab. There might have been multiple of them, uh, but there's only one that has survived. You have... 500 gold pieces of alchemical components. The alchemical components probably could go in there. Um, the shelf with the bottles got burned. So I think some of the potions and treasure got destroyed there. Uh, and then you have um, 12 volumes from uh, Hollow Marks library nice you scared away Ormada and his three thugs there are three masterwork daggers that they're carrying <laughs> and 50 gold pieces apiece it looks like they were carrying the money that they were paid <laughs> wasn't enough was it nope uh, I guess they were kind of roguey. We'll say there are three masterwork uh, these tools. With the... It does look like that the masterwork daggers were the shiniest, well-kept things that they had, and the thieves' tools couldn't have belonged to them because they were also well-kept and not dirty. <laughs> Do they have any ranged weapons? Uh, nope. Really word to cut them, make them bleed, folks. I, a number of, like, normal daggers. I don't know how thirsty you guys are for treasure. No, no, no. Like, I just want... I... Ten daggers. They had knives. I, I... I more... I got two archers. I was taking off arrows. And the stacks... They're not rolling in bad stacks. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, you, you didn't find any magical items down here. There's still these strange pods and um, We're gonna 
sniff the pods. Do the pods have an odor or not? From oh, the, the pods definitely or smell organic. Uh, spending a mage's point, it is not... You, you can't you can't tell whether this creature is if these things cast spells or not like it, it doesn't really register okay they smell odd yeah we're, we're gonna I deal with them at home I think more than here get them there now, Ghost doesn't have scent normally. It's just his arcane scent, so... Right, so he's just... He's smelling literally for his magic. Right? Yep. So. Well, the... Bring the carriage up to the side. We'll break open the window. <laughs> put them in the carriage. Close the window back up. <laughs> then we'll present our success to the school. Provided that uh, Headmaster Bleak's not there. I have a, another idea. There are 12 other rooms in this corridor. We could hide whatever we want into one of the rooms and come back later. Why don't we just take whatever's in the rooms? We can just say they did it. You know that these would be like the little miniature private sanctums of wizards, experiment rooms, sometimes just rooms where people keep books or places where they might prepare their spells. Um, you might have even had access to one of like had a, one of these rooms when you were <laughs> when you were uh, a professor. You, you've never been in this one. Like this one's clearly the largest. If if, if all the yeah. others are like the ones that you've been in before, they're just small, fifteen by fifteen, like cell rooms. This one's that, just massive. Yeah. Yep. This one looks like it kind of tunneled it's got an into ecosystem. a. Yeah. yeah it, it, it's it, water. <laughs> it tunneled into an area that was like a natural cavern, and then they just smoothed it out and you know made it a thing. Uh, a. Not hellish, an abyssal laboratory of some sort. Oh, uh, what was on that guy's grant paper, his grant application? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Barnabas also wants to see, um, are there like tongs or anything to see what's in this? Yeah, water? It's, it's a barrel full of leeches. Just regular old leeches? Regular old leeches. There's maybe about a dozen still left in there. Some mason jars next to it. Like, you could spend some time fishing them out. I'm not interested in leeches. I don't think. That being said, I'll take a couple mason jars. Maybe there's some interesting blood inside the leeches. Okay. So you, um, yeah, Chaga will help you pour, basically, uh, the water into nets, and you end up netting and jarring a dozen leeches. All right, sounds good. There weren't enough there. leeches in the water to make a swarm or anything like that. But... No. Stick your hand in. Oh, God! But now that you see leeches, you do make sense of some of the tongs and things that were in the alchemist lab. Almost like there was some experimentation with blood going on. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. No, yeah, they're edible. Uh, I don't imagine they're very tasty. I they're best used for fishing. Mind you, I'm sure I could use a bit of butter to. Uh, to you can eat those raw. Mort's just tells you assuredly that you can. Yeah, you, you can, and they won't hurt you. Uh, best that you fry them up in some butter and garlic. But then they don't squirm on the way down. Dickle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I suppose some cultures might enjoy, you know, a wiggling worm or two on the way down. Uh. It's not my sort of thing. Although I would try it once, I suppose. Is that it? Are we done here? Yeah, by the looks of it, yeah. Just a question of what to do with those. All right, I'll, I'll be in the urn. You think they'll let us take him? What's that? Hmm? Can he go through doorways and things? Yep. Yeah. Junker is going to go knock on his urn. <laughs> and... Are we here? To, uh, are we fighting something? It, it, it's he, been he, like he's... thirty seconds, folks. Damn. <laughs> he's pointing down the hallway and then motioning towards the doors and saying things in Nizumi. Uh, I think Los understands Nizumi. Okay. Uh, why Arnus you, does as well. Why don't you check out through the doors? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Come on, Chaga. Uh, what? Oh, we're going to go look through the doors. He repeats it to Chaga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Chaga looks to Barnabas like this is... You can go look, but don't fucking take anything. Okay. If anything's missing, comes out of my <laughs> ass. <laughs> Fuck. Now you guys want ten different trash pots. <laughs> 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 All right, fine. <laughs> we can do you this. Give us a ghost. I don't know why we're not using it. <laughs> All right. There are ten rooms with shit inside of it. Uh, I think I wrote down, like, a bunch of dice that we're going to roll for each of them. Uh, let's see, my notes. I started detailing what were in the rooms, but then went, ah, I'm just going to roll a d10, a d9, a d6. Uh, this particular room, room 8, has a brass stand with a woven mat and a brass brazier with some incense blocks beside it and maybe a smattering of spell components. I don't know if this is something you're breaking into to get. Can sorry, I'm having a Los can only grab things that are he can interact with with a sword, and when he's interacted with it, does it become incorporeal like him or no? Yeah, yeah give me a second. So Los, I don't think it does. He can bond with a number of magic items. That happens over a rest period. He is currently bonded to I think four items. He can bond to six. Okay, so it became ghost touch through bonding. He does not have the arcane trickster uh, uh, prestige class yet because he's been paying off his ghost uh, template. And his ghost touch sword technically could touch real things. That is the only way he can interact with the world. So anything with like a hoop on it or a hook. <laughs> He has Mage Hand as a spell. Open Close as a spell. He also has to be careful about what spells he takes because... They have to actually be able to go from the Ethereal Plane to the yeah. Real Plane. Yeah. Plane. Zero. So there are a minor number of ways where he can interact Okay. Yeah, he he can't open the doors basically, and he can't move objects around. Yeah, eventually when he bonds with a bag of holding, and he starts telekinesing things into the bag of holding. <laughs> and, yeah, and then... the, the 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 high level sorcerer <laughs> ghost is going to figure out ways to you know to get so around to this. Steal the world. Yeah. <laughs> God. So we're yeah. gonna we're gonna say this is like a, a a spell prep area, and there's some minor treasure potentially here. Uh, um, whether or not we take this, I think is up to Ahmed and Mark. I mean, I don't. Uh, I, I don't think we're gonna break into little... anything for that. All right, sure. Oh, well, we don't know what we don't know what we see in the other ones yet. <laughs> okay. Um, Shouldn't there be twelve other rooms? Yeah. So that's one. <laughs> Goes and looks in into number uh, nine. Nine. Oh, that's eleven. Sorry. Ele that is eleven. Um, I 
And the spell prep area was number 12. 12. Oh. Arabic numerals were an excellent invention. Okay. I need a couple of the... Uh... What numerals? Arabic. That's not Arabic, dude. The... No. Not the, like, moving from this to the Arabic numerals. The ones numerals. that we use, the ones we use now... Oh. Oh, that's what I mean. They're called Arabic numerals. These are Roman. Yeah, I'm like... These suck. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Uh, I just imagined doing, like, I'm going to do calculus. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> uh, <all> you. <laughs> uh. Time for decimals. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um... And all right, uh, Lo says that the only thing interesting in this in this room are two ones. Okay. Two ones and a pillow is basically he says. There's other junk, but does he have spellcraft? Does detect magic work through the planes? Can he attempt to identify things? Yeah. He does have spellcraft because I made him. No, he does have detect magic because I made him. Oh, he's not like my triple cat. Whatever. His spellcraft is plus eight, though. So. Uh, he might. <laughs> Maybe. He, that's all he says. There's two wands in there. It's boring. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he goes flying over to number 10. Ooh. Uh, so do we like floating staves? Yeah, we do. There's a floating, <laughs> <Describe it. laughs> There's a floating staff in that one. <laughs> do we need an arcane nuke? Yes, we yes. do. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, it's abjuration. He says, hey, "Yeah, he's that kind of sorcerer." Uh, the walls of this place are made of stone. Stone, stonework, uh, iron doors, uh, iron reinforced wooden doors. Okay, and uh, and from your spellcraft, there is. There is magic coming off of this door. Is there magic coming off of that around it? Go through the floor or the walls, not the, the door. Into, has Junker turned into an elemental before? Uh, Junker has, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> He's looking at the walls to see if these are movie trap walls. <laughs> uh, okay, give yeah. me a perception check versus traps as you guys are looking. Barnabas looks too. Okay, uh, Versus traps. Perception. Oh, ah, these, oh, these guys are. Ah, oh, they're rogues. Of course, they can do this. Yeah, they're. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of thieves. <laughs> a bunch of thieves. Why did you invite a bunch of thieves into your house? Mm. <laughs> uh, Twenty-six for Barnabas. Uh, Twenty-three. Probably should have banded together. 33 from Ghost, but... Uh, there you go, Ghost. But not very good from Junker. Okay. Uh, everyone else is convinced that there is not much going on behind, uh, beside a... Uh, well, the 26 is actually pretty good, too. Uh, 26 sees an alarm spell on the door. Uh, it will trigger right. if the door is opened and the right command word isn't spoken. Uh, okay. 33 also sees the door is arcane locked and that the staff you don't like the way the abjuration is kind of like bleeding underneath the crack of the door like your spidey sense is tingling but you don't know exactly what will happen <laughs> okay uh, the magic that is 
bleeding from under the door is like a splay of abjuration magic that is strong. Let's just leave this for the time being. See what else is out there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put Abjuration, Staff, and Trap, question mark. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, the room across is empty. Okay. Oh, six is good. Okay. Six? Three would be room eight or room six. Sorry, room eight. I rolled a, a six. It's a giant pile of diamonds that are non magical but the right size to mage hand out the. No, nope. Los the describes that there is a circle with a giant eye in it painted on the ground that is radiating uh, um, quite strong divination magic. Ooh. He says it's like an eye that continues to infinity. Like there's a bunch of ovals. Uh, just leave that alone. Just leave it. Not taking an eye with us now, are we? Uh, give me a knowledge arcana, Barnabas. You, like you were, no. you were a professor here, so you might actually know what this thing is. Be some crazy googly eyed divination professor out there who's <laughs> who's <says> there baby. <laughs> I gotta actually roll this one. That was a terrible mistake. <laughs> uh, <Or> Twenty eight. <laughs> it's you think it's something like the diviner's eye. Uh, it 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 may not be the exact name of it, but it's something that a student may have um um may have talked about before it acts like a focus for divination spells probably enhancing divination magic okay specifically ones I, where you sit still and cast i just like a scrying room i can leave you okay we'll go to the next one okay I have divination. Um, I didn't see this coming. Lo says that he sees a pair, two pairs of scorched braciers. Okay. Two pairs of them. Yep. Uh, you know what these are, Barnabas. These are called dueling braciers um they there there are dueling grounds that the imperium and arcane wizards um go to part of the braciers attunes you to the dueling grounds and it's where you can actually have a spell duel with that could be non-lethal interesting okay um it's considered barbaric by some wizards but apparently they've locked away um you, you've locked them you've, away you've, but you've, we've you've, got them just in case yeah yeah <laughs> okay uh the one to the south oh, another six i have to keep on coming up with powerful stuff um cool <laughs> You're in the basement of a college of wizardry, so... This year's class is exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm going to re-roll that one. We just did that. Robe of the Arch Magi just sitting there. White. Just to, pe just to mess with it. Just, just to mess, just to mess with it. It's white. It's some good luck. Okay, we're going to call this the Room of Samples. And there's a definite uh, animal 
and beast um, motif to this room. Yeah, if uh, one had, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> if you had that spell, this is the room you want. <laughs> like, just rows and rows of, yeah, there's there's like jars and things hanging and a bunch of labels. I don't know. I saw different <laughs> four different types of bats and uh, some sort of crocodile. Yeah, I'm not a transmute. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Is anyone else a transmuter? No? All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's some sort of golden speckly circle. Gold is good. Where's the circle? Uh, traced on the ground? No. Yeah, that might be a binding circle. It's got seven smaller circles in it. Does that sound like a summoning circle of some kind? Or... Knowledge planes? Uh, one, two, three. I'll go four. So, 44. Uh, it sounds like somebody is trying to summon angels. Uh, that's just used for summoning angels. Just leave it. Oh. All right. Well, they don't like stealing, which is what we kind of do, and now, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, uh, number three, it looks like you guys are congregating in front of. Okay, uh, it's, uh, Really crappy room. It's got a bed with a crappy mattress, a um, couple of chairs with a really rickety table. Oh, it's the fuck lab. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not writing that down. We're going to call it a uh, crappy barrack. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit of like weird illusion dust everywhere though <clears throat> have you seen some of these wizards Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> 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 he, he flies through ghost and uh, yeah it's cold when when uh, when los does it um it's gonna look at the other room Ah, uh, somebody's collecting body parts and oh. like preserving them. Necromancers, all they always have disgusting things. Says the group with a lich in the basement. So let's not be too judgy, all right? <laughs> yeah, it's probably a necromancer. Uh, there, there's a, there's an arm in there that's twitching. Yeah, I'd definitely leave that. Not taking that with us. Just sample yeah. everything and undead and yeah. <laughs> what to be? What do you want to be? When, what do you want to be when you grow up, Desaj? Occupy child. Okay. Um, Lo says there's a room full of like spell components. It's like a spell component closet. Okay. There's nothing magical per se, but there's a lot of jars and stuff in there. Uh, the most expensive jar I saw in there was um, diamond dust. No, oh, all right. I don't know how big baller you guys are with your bank accounts, but uh... whole jar of diamond dust. 
Uh, yeah. Plus gives you a boyish grin. No, this big at you all, this big at you all. That's not a big jar. It's diamond. Alright, one more. One more, come on. Okay. Um, you notice that outside this one, there is a dustpan and a broom. <laughs> Bad things might have happened in here. Go ahead, have a look. Okay. We listened for his episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he pokes his head back out. It's empty. I mean... Well, all right, then. Empty and... swept. All right, it could just be someone's done with it and then readying it for the next. That's fine. That's fine. Look, it's a fair bet. Anything worthwhile here has been catalogued. And if we take it, there will be questions. I suggest we just take what we can from the... Who knows what's in that room? The, the which one? The one, the, the, the end of the hall. 13. Oh. You mean we did this for nothing? 10. 11. It's not for nothing. Two. If there was something really good, we would have taken it. Diamonds are. Mind you, floating stags. No, that'll be missed for sure. Is there any way to judge how long it's been since these doors have been opened? Like, did, like uh, most of those dust levels or... Yeah, it's probably tracking at this point. Now, what's complicating the matter is a bunch of you have stood in front of each and every one of the doors, so you've disturbed the dust a little bit. Uh yeah. Holy, you want to grab those, Adam? Uh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. that's <laughs> They've been, I've gotten three or four of these throughout this stream so far. It's a bunch of these, yeah. Nice. No. Don't want anything enlarged, thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Large Z. Thanks for the <laughs> Uh, spam. All right, what are you guys doing? You guys are having an argument about what to rob. Um, you do hear some spell casting up the top of the stairs. All right, I guess that's that. All right, come on down. We're down. Is every and you you actually hear some whispers? Is everything all right down there? Oh, uh, we've got some bodies. Okay, uh, the headmaster is coming down the stairs. He is flanked by a couple of um, junior wizards, and then it looks like he has woken up some of the headmasters. Oh, great. Nelvis, I hate that guy. That's right, that's my... That's my arch rival at the school, or he was. The nope. under wizards stop in the staircase, like they take guard up here, and the headmasters come down. Uh, Los, as they were coming down, zipped back into the um, into the container as if he was shy. Well, what is what have you found out here? Well, it seems. That um, hello Barnabas, it's Barnabas, it's Barnabas and a hobgoblin and a fat man, and and a an Nazumi. Yes, Professor Moira. Dean Soul Patch, how are you? I swear, 
Why did you let him come down here? We could have solved this matter internally, Headmaster. Well, you had how many years to do it and couldn't get it done, so... Here I am. If you follow me this way, um, you'll find... Um, well, it had already been open by the time we got here. Okay, a little bit of a description. There's something odd about this woman. She seems to be counting the steps and refusing to step on certain bricks. Um, she also blurts out the race of the person that they that she encounters. Um, and she kind of gets left behind a little bit as she's staring at this unconscious man. She's got the classic wizard stats. Eight, 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 eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Eight, eight. Um, what have you been doing down here, Barnabas? And the headmaster just puts up his... Well, hand. we were starting a sewing circle is what we was doing. Yeah, I got half a sweat all ready for you, you fucking twit. Okay, Dean Nelvis in his pristine white robe seems to stop by room five and, and is taking a look to see if there's anything um, amiss. Uh, which leaves the headmaster and a dwarf who just keeps on pushing um, a little pair of spectacles up onto his uh, uh, further up his nose and there's an owl that is just looking around at everything that uh, he comes across he has a book that he uh, that is tucked underneath his uh, his arms but he hasn't said much he just seems to be alert. so we have some good news and bad news yes well, you, I'm sure you heard the explosion. That was uh, Mr. Ormala trying to come here and take what he thought was his due. Uh, Ludoc Finesmith looks up at uh, the headmaster. The headmaster looks annoyed and more creases appear on his face. The bright yeah. side is the abyssal monsters that he had unleashed, we killed. So... Okay, you have their attention at that. Is Mr. Ormada still here? No, he escaped via um, his um, magical cape, by the looks of it. He waves his hand as if to proceed. He wants to go and have a look. All right, walk on through the area. Yep, they paused for a moment and yeah. stepped over, step over the dead hired thug and yeah, thugs, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they they stop. Is Mort still... Mort, Mort's like trying to load up the Hydra on his with his mule back cords right now. <laughs> it's like, oh hi. <laughs> Where did this come from? Well, that's a mole. I brought him. <clears throat> the headmaster looks at the Hydra. He did not mean Mort. Oh, that, um, best I could call it, is a demon seed. Is uh, right there. I still got a baby Nabasu. Um, where the fuck did it go? Oh, there it is, right there. Ludog seems it. to be inspecting the Nabasu. He's looking at it, and he, he kind of gets down, like he sort of crouches and is having a look at it. Uh, the headmaster glances at that, and he wanders across the bridge. To the, to the empty bookshelf. Yeah, he was just loading the bag when we got here. Mr. Armada did this. Empty? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me a bluff. <laughs> More or less. I Give mean, me. there was a fight. Things got tossed. <laughs> Give me a bluff. That's uh, so, uh, my bluff. Next level, my bluff will be awesome. <laughs> Which uh, at this level it is not. At this level, it's it's not awesome. It's not terrible if you're a commoner. Twenty-eight. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he seems annoyed. Uh, he does wander over to these things. He looks at the one that was that sprouted the the demon. He looks back over his shoulder across the room. And these? These don't appear to have any creatures inside. 
This one looks like some sort of rod made from a rock's claw, and this one looks like a series of weapons. Probably with abyssal steel. Now, I do recall I believe... Mr. Omada specifically saying he did not go to the abyss and back to have a bunch of egghead so and so take his stuff. I did not think he was being literal, but it's looking like it might be possible. There are things that Professor Hollowmark brought back from the far reaches of the world. Mr. Armada would likely know where these things were found. The professor did say... He did hint that in the remote places of the world, after the Imperium shattered many of the great temples on the continent, that there were some islands, as well as remote jungle locations, where Nagaji and other primitives still worshipped demons the sort of thing that the imperium seeks to stamp out the sort of thing that the inquisitors that mr Harlemark traveled with <coughs> were trying to stamp out if that demon came from one of these things then these things might have come from some of the temples and foul places of Volcanica that are still yet to be tamed. Curious. Is that an axe? No. Uh, yeah, I believe that's an axe. What I find most curious is look at that fucking quiver. It's made from an imp. You don't see that every day. If, if it is the abyss, it is a closet. Is what a corset? A closet. A closet. Uh, sorry, that's what that's that's what I meant. Yeah. You had so dumbed it down for him <laughs> because you expected, with your amazing ranks and knowledge, no. planes and you know commoners and a, a little no. tiny thing with wings that looks no. devilish. Is like ah, they're just all imps to people. But yes. Sorry, you're not team now. <laughs> These things should be disposed of. Well, we are disposing of um, the rest of these things already, uh, part of the service we offer. So we would be happy to take care of these as well for you. Part of the service that the professor foresaw, that he gave you a gem for, was likely to dispose of these things. Most likely, yes. I would not have them here at the Annex. He does not look happy at what he's seen, but... We shall cover them so no one will ever know they were here and take them away from the Annex to be disposed of in a safe and responsible manner. Good. If something should go wrong, it will be your responsibility, not ours. No. Of course. He looks again at, like, yes, there are arrows bundled together inside that corset's mouth. Peculiar. Disgusting. He, he's seen enough, and he just doesn't seem to be interested in these big seeds. I don't know who these men were. Perhaps the necromancers will have use for the <laughs> remains. Sure. I've got no crumbs leaving them. I'm sure we can learn something from this thing. Looking at the... The Nabasu? Well, we can leave him for you if you like. Uh, you notice that the dwarf actually nods his head when the headmaster looks at the, the dwarf and mm -hmm. yes leave it all right we'll take care of the rest um 
I don't know if you want to save any of the bits and pieces for mending can trips for the some of the first years. What are you doing with this beast? He says to Mort. Uh I I I just pick things up. Oh, and I hit things too. Huh. I'm good at that. Let's break it. <laughs> He glances back to to Barnabas. I don't know if you're explaining why this brick is collecting a Hydra. Oh, yeah, we're going to take some bits and pieces for transmutation reasons, protection reasons, and just experimentation reasons and dispose of the rest. Otherwise, it's just a big mess for you and yours. Doing you a favor. Okay, the headmaster and Luduk exchange glances. You can see there's a tiny bit of a smile that crosses Lydic's face. He just gives the headmaster a nod. The headmaster doesn't seem to perceive the, the bit of a smile uh, and just starts walking out. Okay, well, we'll get out of your hair before morning classes start. Yes. Yes. Leave Mr. Omara to us. We shall track him down. As you wish. Uh, Luda gives Barnabas a smile. Barnabas gives him a smirk back and tips his hat to him. <laughs> and then uh, then just follows the professor out. Uh, he does say in Dwarvish, well done. Uh, back in Dwarvish, thank you very much, sir. He glances at all of your group and kind of a, kind of gets a an assessment of like how violent and <laughs> brutal you guys are, <laughs> and, like, and then it goes running after the uh, the headmaster is barking out orders to. Um, this man is still alive. Yeah, the, the headmaster. Please. I will fix that problem. <laughs> Place him in room nine. He hands a key. You're going to go to room nine. Not one, not two, not... And it continues on. Uh, Dean Nelvis ends up having to create a tensor's floating disc or a floating disc. <laughs> and they roll the hired thug on top of it and he uses the key to drift the man inside. No doubt he will be either held for the guard or um, interrogated. He's going to have some blathering story about monsters, and he's describing everything and everyone is <laughs> the other The other two bodies are look like uh, they're being moved to um, the room with the preserved body parts. They're not brought inside, yeah. but they're just left out, uh, inside there. I think by this point, the party has collected themselves yeah. and have begun to, uh, begun to leave. As he's leaving and passing Dean Nervous, I hope that clap clears up for you, sir. <laughs> You're so miserable, Barnabas. And who's the one who's scowling? The heavens would judge you. As well. <laughs> oh, are you You'll taking there, the pods? Hmm? You taking the pods? Yeah, we're taking the pods too. He Who, said, who's take carrying the pods? The pods? Take... Uh, okay. Mort is going to put down the gross body thing. Allow Barnabas to clean his hands and stuff first. He will then go down and pick up the pods, put them in the carriage, then pick back up the Hydra, and okay. we'll walk. And he'll walk out with it. All right, so the pods are in the carriage with you guys uh, as you are leaving. Good show. I think I've got everyone. Uh, I think so, yeah. And the Hydra body's on top of the carriage? No, I think Mort's just walking with it. <laughs> like, eh, eh. <laughs> All right, well, it's at night, which allows you some cover, uh, I think, 
Junker is the only one that can drive the carriage. Yeah. Will we hear legs and moves? <laughs> No. no, we're terrible for that. <laughs> Actually, we're all, it's, it's awful. All right, you you drive slowly. Um, the under wizards, a lot of them see you guys come and go. Like there will likely be a flurry of uh, rumors that will spread throughout the Founders College and perhaps the annex itself, uh, as the um, the I don't know what to call you guys, the jerky Barnabas's fellows. <laughs> uh, Barnabas and his fellows basically leave in the noble carriage and drive back to um, drive back to the Belfont Tower I'm going to go to the Belfont Tower and paste you guys there with your strange pods and your giant hydra corpse Ooh. Okay, what are you guys doing at this point? Uh, we'll bring the, the, the pod, have the pods brought up to the lab up on the third floor. Okay. Because they are not for breakfast. You want to keep them out of the way, so you bring them up to the yeah. third floor lab. And Barnabas is going to. I suggest we keep a watch or something tonight. Seeing as Mr. Ormada did get away. <laughs> we have some of his books. Yeah, we've got all these books. We're going to have to spend some time cleaning them up. And the Hydra Corpse? It's just fucking garbage now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in the main the main hall? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's just the main that's entry where hall? it got done. Okay. <laughs> maybe maybe we, can, we can skin it and sell the hide or something? I don't know. Turn it into a big skeletal... Hydra. Yeah, you, you guys have cleared out its guts, which is kind of like the first part of having an animal um, carcass. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they, there might be a market for that. We could try to launder it at the... the we could say that, oh, we cleared this horrible beast off the streets and try to get the, the <laughs> rat catchers killed. This was them. in the sewers! <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you guys have knowledge local? Uh, I do. What's how many ranks? Or uh, what's your uh, total? Sorry. Ghost has a plus fourteen. Junker doesn't know where he is. It's Greco. Barnabas, if he takes ten, gets thirty four. Yeah, Barnabas, you're familiar with the neighborhood in which you live. Uh, there is a man called the Mad Hatter, or uh, the Mad Gatter, uh, and Mad Gatter m would buy things like this. Okay. Yeah. Well. Let's try and. In fact, you think hard. the Mad Gatter is. You know he has connections to the um, to the Imperial Office of Public Health and Safety, uh, and, which is also Rat Catchers Guild, and the guy who you bought the Hippogriff off of, the the mm -hmm. Fey. You're pretty yeah. sure hangs around that shop. Okay. Yeah, we can sell yeah. this. Uh, Capra and can... Capra and Barnabas have met before, uh, Adam. Barnabas was the guy who bought the hippogriff. Yeah, he saw you trying to like pull it out of the uh, <laughs> pull it out of the uh, uh, steel rose mill like quietly, but it was being it was being uh, hey, it wasn't it wasn't playing along. Yeah, because... it was being ornery, and you kind of stopped and looked at him, and he looked at you, <laughs> and then you guys had a conversation, <laughs> and you kind of went, "You want to buy it?" <laughs> and I went, "I'm no not much." <laughs> no hippogriff on this map. So I was thinking it had a bad day. Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah. When Chaga's brother and his buddies came out, the hippogriff was kept outside because it poops, and um, they, because they were angry, one shot at it. <laughs> <laughs> then, then the well, party ate it. For it. Then the party ate it. It was the most expensive yeah, meal. Then we, we ate had. it. Yes. Yeah. 
there's probably still some hippogriff jerky in, in, <laughs> in, the, uh, in the area. It wasn't too long ago. All right, what are you guys doing? Um, basically, this is the end of the generated adventure. Uh, we'll set a watch. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's late at night. Uh, probably rest. The next day is trying to figure out how do we get the weapons and out of these things. All right, so you're going to play around with the seeds is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys, you guys rest. Um, uh, Grackle, you go back home and come back, or are you just going to sleep here? I don't know. I'll go back to my dojo. Okay. Your dojo is across the street. Uh, you know what their, their plan is, uh, to rest and then play around with the thing. Uh, next yep. morning you come back, Chaga is cooking up, um, uh, what's... Yeah, I make sure to come back for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Ch <laughs> Chaga's, Chaga's got, uh, eggs and sausage and um yeah uh with some this of the... party a lot of our work revolves around meal time <laughs> uh, uh chaga has uh made like little pastry pigs in blankets uh and has a, a variety of sauces one hot one vinegary and one fruity for you guys to um uh dip um that and some pancakes in Barnabas kind of whispers to him, so how is the Hydra? Chaga takes 10 and gets 23 on his breakfast. It is a good breakfast. Nice. Uh, who are you asking about the Hydra? Uh, Bar uh, Chaga, he's asking him how, how was it. Oh. Uh, sorry, how was what? The Hydra. Yeah, I, we... we were not cooking it. Come on. You Guy me tough. I'm not sure. You did mention it was from another plane. I don't think Yeah, but you ate a I... you drank fucking unicorn blood. Uh, what? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> uh did Chaga drink unicorn blood or was that? Yes he did. He, he did. He he dipped his finger and went. <laughs> Tasting it is not the same as drinking it, and I, I don't think unicorns are from out of places. Yeah, fair enough. Probably have a, like, a, I don't know, sour taste to it. I, I thought imagine. we were bringing it to sell it to, like, some rat catchers or something. Oh, we've got to skin it proper, like, We're, and by we, I mean points back <laughs> why don't we just bring the whole carcass and they could do the hard work well, we might get a better price it's already done and again it is starting to smell isn't it yeah more get that out move it out <laughs> more drags it outside all right you guys have a wonderful breakfast uh chaga drowns everything in a particular sweet sauce um, a, sir a sticky syrup. Uh, the, you, they they put the food into a dirty bag for Mort, and Mort mixes it all up, and then just eats handfuls of the food from the feed bag. Why would you do that? It tastes better that way. <laughs> Mort's Mort's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so you the purpose now. Gross on purpose. He has different perspectives on what is nice and what is not nice. <laughs> so I was thinking about the egg things. They did look like they were feeding the egg things. Yes. They're feeding them organic matter. Viscera, blood, those sort of things. They were certainly experimenting with blood based on the number of leeches they had. Did you find in the leeches? Well, I haven't opened him up yet. <laughs> it, not it. What for the leeches? No, for feeding blood to the the egg things. Oh, for fuck off! I, I I'll like... do it. Oh, look at you being all brave. Um. 
you notice that uh, there are a few of your party members that are, don't look like they're feeling that good that, that next day. Oh. Namely, Ghost and... Brad. All right, you lot need a proper priest. No offense, Chaga. Hey, then taken. Yeah, it did its looky-loo thing on you, didn't it? Yeah, it did. All right. Ghost, the rat, and who else had a negative level? I think Alistair. Uh, yeah, Alistair did. And Grackle. Yeah, oh, and Grackle. Everybody, you got hit. Uh, and uh, Mark, Mark, Mark got through it okay. Well, Mark didn't get one. No. Okay. Okay, Grackle. If we can get bonuses, that'd be great. Uh, I've got to. I got to do it in the well, morning. Well, this 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 happened in the evening. It'll actually yeah. you make your save later this night. So you've got the day to try to solve the problem if you want to. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, is anybody else not feeling uh, very well? Uh, I see. Um, your souls have been damaged by the look of the novice you. What? Yeah, it, it does that by looking at you. But, like, looking, never mind. How can That's we what happened. Now, how do we undo this? Uh, priest, usually. Undo. <laughs> Chuck is undo. <laughs> uh, it's a bit out of the line for Chuck. Well, not out of the line, but. Above his clerical grade, let's say. Oh, yes, I, I am unable to cast um, uh, restorations. I could cast a lesser restoration, which would make you minorly vigorous for a short period of time. Do you happen to know any priests who can cast restoration? Uh, me? Why would I know priests? Well, because you are one, and your lot tend to. I mean, granted, you been hanging around with me for a while, but... Well... Chaga, all religion. I, I know a priest, but not in this neighborhood, not in this district. Um, do, do I know a priest in this district? Yeah, Chaga, Chaga's like, uh, there is a place where I did learn how to become a priest and was ordained a priest of the pattern in the weave. Where was that? They sound very neutral about things. Not in the South Wall district. Yeah. I've sort of lost uh, touch with him. Well, those priests. They've been busy. Fair enough. Um, in South Wall, what? Restoration's fourth level? Yep. Uh, do I know of a priest that based on reputation, may we will cast four circle spells. Let's see. <laughs> I think most of the priests that can cast four circle spells had an accident <laughs> a couple of months to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's a couple months from now. <laughs> yeah, in a few months. <laughs> in a few months, though, he dies. <laughs> Okay, so you're looking for a seventh or cleric, all right? Let me just look at settlements. You could give me a uh, knowledge local or a uh, knowledge religion. Uh, they're both the same. I'll just take ten thirty-four. Fourth level spellcasting is small town. Let me just look at how your markets are doing. It this might, is, this it is might back just in, be that guy. This is back <laughs> in time a little bit. But yeah, all of your markets got upgraded to large town. So um, you know that the fairy area would be able to, between all the fae that visit the fairy area, uh, you could get that spell cast there and they're also likely to exchange coin for such things uh, there yep. is another priest um, 
his name is um, he's the head of a religious movement I hope it's nobody that the other group killed um, his name is I'm just going to go to completed adventures Jeremiah something yeah his <laughs> name is um, Jeremiah Smith Jeremiah Smith, he is the head of a big movement that is anti-technology, anti-construct. Uh, uh, and he is a priest of the five-faced god, and he's um, in the uh, the flour mill neighborhood. Uh, priest of the five-faced god is less likely to take pity on rat folk. A and... rat folk, a hobgoblin, and a... Uh, yeah, so you know, fairy airy seems to be it. Plus we have we at least know Nighthorn, so. Do you think the Mummers had a powerful cleric as well? We're just looking out the... Yeah, the Mummers may have had some priests too, but uh, I don't think the party likes the Mummers. Uh, the party has killed one of the wizards that supported the Mummers, uh, so asking them... Uh, and they also I... don't like the ex the uh, the Executioners. No, we don't like the Executioners. <laughs> Yeah, very airy it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, the spell... We'll say that Ghost, Grackle, and Alastair will spend the day, you know, tracking down and waiting for some spells to be cast. The uh, cost of such spells are... Well, uh, Fox is actually four. talking about the Fire Temple and the Asmodians. Yep. As other just uh, knowing of them, four hundred gold pieces uh, per casting. Is that including? All that? right, we can make that happen. Uh, it's a hundred. I pieces. have no money. <laughs> I think gold pieces for the uh, the lesser version versus a thousand for the the greater. Yeah, it's it's a thousand for the greater. We, we don't need the greater. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's ten, it's ten times spell level times caster level plus the hundred is about four hundred. Oh wait, wait, wait a second. I think this is yes, this is the level where Barnabas is broke. Right. I think Mort's got money though. Let's see. Alistair I don't think has enough. I have nine hundred and thirty gold pieces. So you got enough for your own. Alistair has two gold and thirty five <laughs> copper. Ghost has thirty 31.9 gold pieces. So 31 and 9 silvers. And you guys are a bunch of fucking mooches. <laughs> how much uh, How much is it going to cost? 1,200 total. Uh, Wait, for everyone? Yeah. Uh, oh, and Junker's rat. I don't know if Junker's going to spend money on the rat. The rat might have to... He, he might kill the rat... Kill the rat and get a new one because it's cheaper. It, it, uh, does it have the? Do you inherit the morning thing or no? Uh, yeah, I forget what uh, familiar uh, what familiar penalties are. But... Yep. But it, like a, a normal druid one doesn't have a penalty. It's just yeah. Get a new one. His yeah. acts like a uh, a familiar, so you'll have to look at what wizards. Yes. Put the familiar pin up now. All right. I don't have that fucking money, says Alistair. <laughs> you brought us there. You're going to pay for it, <laughs> pointing at Barnabas. It's not my fault you spent all your money. Plus, I don't have any money. And he's looking at Mort, and Mort's like, fuck you guys. There is a... Um... Perhaps we could pay in some of the alchemical components that we found. The fairy area seems to like spell components. If we dip into spell components, we definitely have enough money. Yeah, that might work. Well, if we're going to get the money through that, I guess I can loan whoever needs the money some money to get it done. And then, right away, you pay me out of your share. Well, no, we have a number of spell components that no one seems to be using. We'll just use that to pay the fairies. Okay, well, if they'll take it. Okay, so... If 
the rat dies, it'll cost 1,200 gold pieces to get the rat back. Okay, I'm guessing he'll spend on the spell in. Yeah, okay. 400 versus 1,200? <laughs> sure. All right, it, so it, so uh, I'm going to just nuke the 500 gold pieces of alchemical components that you guys found in the alchemy lab. Uh, 1,600, these 1,100, and I'm going to subtract 1,100 from the spell components that are in your pile, and you've got enough... You've got enough stuff that hopefully you can trade the the, the fairies for. Uh... Okay. All right. Well, Grackle, uh, Alistair, Ghost, uh, and they, I guess Junker goes because his rat needs to go. Um, you spend time dealing with Fae and waiting around for enough Fae to arrive to actually cast the spell. Uh, and it's sort of a, a day is spent um, uh, in commerce. I don't know if Barnabas, you're waiting until everyone comes back to experiment with the seeds, or are you? Can... Yeah, he's not. Okay. okay. Unleash a demon by yourself in a room. Yeah, that's just bad news. Really. <laughs> we, we 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 saw how things went when he had the whole party with him. <laughs> when Ghost Junker, Alistair, and Grackle return, there is a uh, a roast duck feast. Uh, that is uh, ready. Chaga's also mixed a bed of noodles that the roast duck is sitting on top of. Uh, I propose that every character that's in this party should be adding about two pounds to their character. <laughs> <laughs> for that, or so, and that's with all the exercise and adventure. Done. Chaga's that, adding, that's, that's Chaga's adding five question. pounds. He's pushing, he's pushing <laughs> four or five. I, I will add that weight right now. Uh, <laughs> Ghost is 82 instead of 80. Junker, 77 pounds. And Alistair has got a nice little pot belly. He, he's like, greedy like and likes sweets. <laughs> he is now 105 pounds. Barnabas already got a muffin top. There's 182. Five ten. There is a um, an opening course of an onion soup with some uh, effectively a peasant loaf bread uh, and some uh, garlicky butter. Four pounds. <laughs> and then the <laughs> dessert is a uh, a chilled gelatin with. Um, with berries suspended inside. Well done, Charlotte. It was delicious. Oh, I know. I could probably sleep for two days. I don't sleep too hard. I'm going to be working on those stupid eggs. Oh, we're doing that tonight. Well, you don't have to help me if you don't want. Oh, we'll go and play with eggs. Wonderful. The uh, rest of you, please, if you don't mind, don't go too far. You know, in case there's screaming in blood and whatnot. Well, well, I'm not as good at carving things open as some of the others are. What happens if a demon pops out? Oh, these children in around. Uh, Chaka goes over and taps Los out of the, uh, out of the... Look, we're having loose. What are we doing? We're playing with eggs. Ah. Uh. No, demon eggs. Oh! <laughs> 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 Fucking thought we brought you out for a cooking class, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you do is just lay around and eat. Yeah, it's a wonderful existence. I'm sorry you're missing it. I'm kind of enjoying not having to poop again. Poop ever. Yeah, yeah. Really? Wait, should I be pooping? No, you should not be pooping. That jar is probably a mess. That being said, I don't know where you get your reading done. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of fades in and out as he's laughing. He's still laughing because he doesn't need to breathe when he fades back in. Okay. All right, lead the way. Um, and he's got his sword out. And... Okay, we're gonna roll that back just a little bit, like the enthusiasm. Just 
cap it for a while. Should I try to force myself into my plate armor? Yeah, yeah, probably a good idea. Okay, Chaga grunts and groans as he puts on his plate armor after the big meal. (laughs) (laughs) I can tell you, as a guy who puts a lifting belt on, Yep. I know when I ate my meal well ahead of the, you know, <laughs> too soon to the thing. <laughs> yep. There might have been an emergency run to the Jakes. <laughs> uh, soon the group is in the lab. I don't know if all of you are in the room or not. Mort will go up. But he's doing something irritating like bouncing a ball off the wall. 